The mission of the church is to invite all to come unto Christ by proclaiming the gospel, perfecting the saints, and redeeming the dead. These unified efforts should be the major focus of what we do as priesthood leaders. President Ezra Taft Benson has provided this challenge. The purpose of the Lord's Church is to further the progress of every son and daughter of God toward the ultimate blessings of eternal life. This includes many less active members who may be indifferent and non-caring. To all such, we as priesthood leaders must extend a, and renew our love and heartfelt invitation to come back. Come back. Come back and feast at the table of the Lord and taste again the sweet and satisfying fruits of fellowship with the saints. That invitation has sparked the efforts of priesthood leaders throughout the world to reach out in love to those who are less active and to bring them back. The following video segments document true life examples of such efforts. Each segment is based on interviews with priesthood leaders and auxiliary leaders, home teachers, and once less active church members. These personal and often poignant insights into the process of activation bear powerful testimony that the less active can be reached. Flexibility is the key to these success stories. You will see examples of priesthood leaders ministering to the needs of the less active, organizing to use priesthood manpower more effectively, concentrating home teaching efforts where they are needed most, and when approved, using full-time missionaries in the fellowshipping process. As you watch these segments, you will discover ways to adapt these ideas to your own activation efforts. We hope that you will be inspired to develop plans that will bring about similar results in your area. Applications will vary according to local needs, but our purpose is the same, to help the less active come unto Christ by receiving the covenants and the ordinances and then remain faithful. This video cassette entitled Continue to Minister is a training tool that can be used in a variety of settings. Again, flexibility is the key. A discussion guide which accompanies the videotape provides some suggestions. For example, selected segments might be used in a priesthood executive meeting or a ward council. A bishop might use some of the segments during a priesthood meeting to train and inspire home teachers. Our hope is that the stake executive committees, stake councils, ward priesthood executive committees, and ward councils may have an opportunity to receive this training. More than that, we hope that every individual who has been called and assigned to minister to the less active will have an opportunity to receive this instruction. The examples shown in the video illustrate what can happen when priesthood leaders catch the vision of this work. As you organize at stake and ward levels to minister to the less active, miraculous results will take place. May God bless you to keep before you the Savior's counsel to those called to minister to his sheep. I know my sheep, and they are numbered. Nevertheless, ye shall not cast him out of your synagogues or your places of worship. For unto such shall ye continue to minister. For ye know not but what they will return and repent, and come unto me with full purpose of heart. And I shall heal them, and ye shall be the means of bringing salvation unto them. May the Lord bless each of us in our respective callings to be the means of bringing salvation to our brothers and sisters. This is our hope and prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.